another muggy and cloudy and gross day out there, but there are changes on the way, a pretty big change that will have us dropping down towards a little bit more of Christmassy temperatures across North Texas. Right now, not much happening. There's just some light sprinkles out there. You can see just a few of those specks here just to the east of Hillsboro. There's no guarantee that any of this is really reaching the ground, but we are pumping in plenty of Gulf moisture here, so no surprise if we are getting a little bit of some light rain to mix in with the patchy fog out there. Daytime highs, I want you to pay attention to this. Daytime highs are in the mid-60s, so... Uh, 65, 66 degrees. It will be warmer as you go farther south because we do have this warm front coming in. You notice this says overnight lows. Nothing has really changed much. I mean, we've gone down a degree or two. We're going to have this warm front come in, and that's going to keep temperatures from cooling down much, if really any at all. So we're going to kind of just be in the mid, low to mid 60s all the way through the night, and then we will start warming up. And this is going to bring more of this warm, muggy air in to interact with the storm system that is on its way. Not much happening across Texas right now. It's pretty quiet, but you notice off to the west, there is some activity, and that is associated with this storm system that is getting ready to come in. There is a dry line out to the west as well. When you watch some of the models, this dry line really starts to sharpen up overnight as it prepares to come in uh, along with this cold front. And then here's the front to our south that briefly pushed this, uh, this, uh, the stationary front away, but you notice it's stationary now. It's going to be moving back up to the north. This thing has been hanging around for way too long, right? We've been dealing with this pattern for far too long. That will move up to the north, but don't worry, this front will push through and get rid of all of that and bring storms along with it. So let's take a look at what to expect tomorrow morning. First, when we get to around 6 a.m., we'll see a few showers in our area. I don't expect, I don't expect any uh, uh, heavier rain there in the area. I think it's all gonna be light. Again, not all of it will probably reach the ground. It's just we have such plentiful moisture in our area, but we will see those storms beginning to develop off to the west. We get to 8 a.m., I think we get much closer to our area moving into western Johnson County there. And this is just an estimation by the radar. It could be further east, it could be further west. This is just the latest estimation by this radar model. And so don't take this for an exact uh, science, an exact location or anything. And we could see more of a broken line at this point, but I don't think we really have a lot of severe weather at this point. I think the severe weather will start when it gets much closer to our area. 10 a.m. tomorrow, this is where it has it pretty much right along the 35 corridor here from Waxahachie on down to Hillsboro, you notice behind it, there's really nothing. This is kind of a one and done deal. You get the line through, you're done for the rest of the day. And it's a pretty thin line, but again, we could have a few stronger, possibly severe storms in this line here. And you notice the radar is kind of showing a stronger point here, a stronger point up north. I don't think the whole line will be severe at this point. I think there will just be pockets of stronger storms. By noon tomorrow, it's off to our east. I think it's out of here. Uh, and it could be a little later. It could be closer to 1 or 2 o'clock. Again, this is a guess. We will have a better idea of timing as time goes on and we get closer to it. The threat for severe weather. Well, let's take a look at that. Overall, it's a marginal risk for our area. The slight risk and the moderate risk are off to our east. But we do have the risk here. I know everybody's looking at the tornado risk here. I have it very low here. It's low, but not zero. Anytime you have these linear systems come in, there's the possibility that with the stronger gusty winds on the front end that you could have a brief spin up or two. But again, it's a very low possibility. But I have to put it there just because it's, a, it's low, but it's not zero. I would be very surprised to actually see one. Damaging winds and large hail, I think, are going to be our primary risks, and it does show moderate here. I'm just communicating that it's a little higher than the tornado risk. I could have probably put it low, but I think that if we get the system in here and it's a broken line, really, there's kind of two possible scenarios here. If it's a broken line of storms and there's a little bit more independence between those, our hail threat could be a little higher. If it's a solid line, our damaging wind threat could be a little higher. So I, I, I just want to communicate that these are the two primary threats that we have tomorrow, and I think that it's a decent chance that we could see one or both of those occurring in some of the storms. Is it guaranteed we're going to get a severe storm? Absolutely not. Again, it's still a mar uh, marginal risk, rather. Uh, we really don't have that great a chance. The best chance, 
over to our east where they're going to encounter warmer temperatures later in the day and much greater instability uh, as well. So for our area, it looks fairly docile, but the potential is there. So let's put this all together in the forecast. Today, we do have that warm front moving our way. 30% chance of showers, mostly in the afternoon. We're mostly just going to be cloudy and muggy and gross today. Could be a, a bit of a gusty southeast wind there as that's bringing in all that gulf moisture and that warmth. 65 degrees for the high, 63 for the low. So again, not much change there. Tomorrow, we get the 66, 67 degrees, I think, before the cool air really starts to filter in. Uh, and it's not going to have much to go. So we will reach that high probably right before the cold front comes in, but it will be falling through the rest of the day. I've got an 80% chance of storms here, mostly in the morning. Those winds will shift from the south to the west as that front moves in. Overnight tomorrow night, though, look at that, 48 degrees. We start falling through the day behind the front. We'll be dropping to the mid to upper 40s by the evening time and then Wednesday much different northwest winds that could be breezy at times sunny skies and uh, cooler temperatures in the upper 50s you're going to notice something here Thursday we're in the low 50s and then we just keep dropping from there we're in the upper 40s on uh, Friday mid 40s on Saturday we could be in plant covering territory here as well Sunday we still warming up a little bit could have a small chance of showers doesn't look like a very big chance though, but looks like we could warm up a little bit, but we've been talking, or we've been seeing at least, I haven't mentioned it yet too much, but we've been seeing a lot of discussion about longer range models and those kind of things. If the pattern holds, it looks like we'll stay cool really probably for the rest of the month. So any kind of warm up that we get looks to be modest at this point. I'm not ready to tell you what the Christmas forecast is. There's some discussion about models showing very cold conditions, but that's two weeks out, guys. It's a long time out. We've already seen big changes in those models just in the last few days. Keep in mind that anything you see out there talking about a Christmas forecast that looks really cold, there's plenty of time for that to change. It probably will change. It almost always does. And they're using the GFS model. That usually has a lot of variation with the passing of time. Let's focus right now on the storms that are possible tomorrow. Could be some strong to severe storms. Again, pretty low possibility, but the possibility is there. And then from there, we kind of clear things out, cool things down, and it's going to feel a lot more like Christmas by the end of the week.